Moscow has claimed to have fired two caliber cruise missiles at Ukrainian targets from a submarine in the Black Sea. The Russian Defense Ministry released a video of the cruise missile being launched. One thing is certain, Vladimir Putin is not done with this war yet. A pair of Russian caliber cruise missiles breaking the surface of the Black Sea to the south of Ukraine and blasting into the sky, headed towards unknown targets in the war-torn country. The missiles launched from beneath the waves by a Russian Kilo-class submarine. The footage you're looking at, released officially by the Russian government this week, captures what is believed to be the first use of submarine-launched weapons in this conflict so far. Caliber cruise missiles have been used extensively by Russia so far, but have mostly been launched from surface ships. These missiles, with ranges that run into hundreds of kilometers or more, have been used to target several Ukrainian cities, especially in the southern part of the country. Ukraine's military headquarters claimed this week that three Russian military boats armed with caliber cruise missiles are currently roaming the Black Sea, awaiting target data to escalate strikes on Ukrainian territory. But Russian ships and boats have been rendered vulnerable in the days gone by, thanks to precision drone strikes being brought to the fight by the Ukrainian Navy. And that's possibly why Russia has now begun using its much less vulnerable stealthy submarines to conduct similar land attack missions using these caliber long-range cruise missiles. In fact, recent satellite imagery from Maxar shows the loading of missiles onto what is believed to be a Kilo-class submarine in the Black Sea port of Sevastopol in Crimea, a location India today has been reporting from. Sevastopol Naval Base, one of the most important naval bases for Russia, a warm water naval base. You can see the ships behind me very clearly. This is one of the most important strategic positions for Russia. This is where they have a stronghold over the Black Sea, the Sea of Azov, and uh, Crimea becomes very important because of this infrastructure, critical infrastructure for Russia, and Russia is controlling waters around the Black Sea in this region because of this very important naval base. The question now is, can Ukraine battle Russia's undersea fleet? Does Ukraine have the capability to target Russian submarines effectively? Will Ukrainian cities now be sitting ducks to invulnerable Russian submarines? Or will NATO's undersea fleet be drawn into this new chapter of the conflict that appears to have been opened in the Black Sea? With Geeta Mohan in Sevastopol, Crimea, Bureau Report, India Today. If the mock nuclear drills being carried out by Russia are not enough, Russia has signaled an even bigger escalation in Ukraine. Moscow has now warned NATO that its transport carrying weapons into Ukraine will be targeted. NATO has been supplying weapons, military hardware and ammunition to Kyiv. Is the Russia-Ukraine war set to enter a dangerous new phase? Seventy-one days into the Ukraine war, with town after town and city after city either reduced to rubble or falling to Russian hands. Putin has issued a warning that has the potential to make this a much bigger conflict than it already is. The warning articulated by Russia's defense minister. The United States and its NATO allies are continuing to pump weapons into Ukraine. I want to mention that we view any transport to the North Atlantic Alliance arriving on territory of the country destined to Ukraine army as a legitimate target to be destroyed. What the Russian Defense Minister has said is already sending shockwaves. The Russian military has repeatedly conducted strikes on Ukrainian depots containing Western weapons. But actually striking Western transports, delivering those weapons, would mark a significant escalation in this conflict. The Russian warning is therefore a direct threat to the larger security situation in Europe. So far, NATO has played a support role in Ukraine, shipping containers full of advanced weapons and ammunition, military hardware and combat supplies across the Polish border into Ukraine. 
NATO has also played a second critical but invisible role, aiding Ukrainian defense forces with satellite data, targeting intelligence and sensor access to help attack Russian positions and assets with accuracy. If NATO vehicles and trucks carrying weapons become legitimate targets to the Russians, does that mean that NATO will be forced to hit back when attacked? And if that happens, what is the nature of the escalation ladder? And where will it actually end? Bureau Report, India Today.